Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about lesson 11, the most powerful self-talk. I'm the luckiest person in the world because I'm still alive. I'm the most powerful person in the world because I, be I believe in myself. I'm the most intelligent person in the world because I love learning. I'm the most in in energetic person in the world because I'm crazy about exercise. I'm the most attractive person in the world because I love myself. I'm the happiest person in the world because I appreciate everything in life. I'm whatever I believe I create my belief and my belief creates my wonderful life. That's number 12 of four single authentic beautiful standards. I will draw the standards 100 times. I will listen to the standards 100 times. I will talk. I will write the standards 100 times. I will talk with myself 100 times. I wear these arches for one useful, meaningful sentence, but at least I know I will have mastered this step and totally. I have the determination to tell 100 times. I have the passion to listen to the tip 100 times. I have the motivation to write 100 times. I have the devotion to talk to myself 100 times. I wear these arches for one useful, meaningful sentence, but at least I know I will have mastered this sentence. Lesson number 13. I'm Vietnamese. I'm Vietnamese. I'm an international Vietnamese. I'm Vietnamese. I'm an international Vietnamese. I'm from Vietnam. I'm from a rich nation. I love my country. I love my people. I enjoy living place. I enjoy speaking English. I want to communicate easily with the world. I want to change my life. Let's practice English quickly. Let's master English with the name of Chandra. Let's just do it right here, right now. That's number 14. Uh, I'm Vietnamese. I will make it. So I'm not the smartest person in the world. So I'm not the most, the most talented person of us. I firmly believe I will succeed. I keep working hard. I keep practicing English crazily. I keep telling English for a spare minute. I keep pushing myself mentally, emotionally, and physically. I keep making progress every single day. I keep telling myself I will make it. I have total confidence in myself. I strongly believe my dream will eventually come true. Lesson, lesson number 15, my words, I can't stand my privilege, I can't stand my comforts, I can't stand my years of good time, I want to improve my situation, I want to change my life, I don't want to let my parents down, most importantly, I don't want to let myself down, I want to speak perfect English, I want to understand all kinds of sense, I want to write beautiful articles, I want to read thousands of books, I want to translate freely between Vietnamese and English, I want to be uh, the master of the words, uh, two most important languages, Vietnamese and English. I want to be truly bilingual. I want to be. Uh, I want to be an international success. Lesson 16 is showing me. Thank you for inviting me to eat. It's my treat this time. Please let me pay the bill. You can treat me next time with it. It has been my dream to meet you. I really enjoy this meal. I really enjoy speaking with you. Thank you for your time. We should meet every week and eat dinner together. Lesson 17, English and Vietnamese. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the difference between English and Vietnam. English is very different from Vietnamese. The sounds are different, the grammar is different, and the writing is totally different. It's very difficult to speak English well. If you want to speak English well, you must forget about the difference. Just practice correct sentences until you are used to them. The more sentences you can put out, the better you can express yourself. If you believe in yourself and practice crazily, you will make it, you will conquer English. Vietnam is the most difficult language in the world. If you can speak Vietnamese, you can speak English. Lesson 18. English, the international language. English is very widely used. It is spoken by people in England. The United States, Australia, India, and many other countries all over the world. It is one of the working languages at international meetings. Most international business letters are written in English. Thousands of books and magazines are written in English too. If you know English, you will find you can enjoy so many more books. English is really a bridge to so much knowledge. If you master English, you master the world. If you change yourself, you will change the world. That's my other world will love with you. If you cry, you just have to cry alone. That's 19. Memorizing words. Many people tell me that it is very hard to remember new words. They complain that no matter how hard they try to memorize new words, they always forget them. The best way to remember new words is to practice them every day. Practice them in sentences and paragraphs. 
Listen to tips and read along every day. Otherwise, you will forget easily. If you need my help, please call me. We are friends. Friends help each other. Let's talk the news together. Let's enchant the people in my family. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little bit about my family. I have a very happy family. My dad is a great man. He has a fantastic job. My mom is a wonderful woman. She has many awesome talents. My family knows me. My family supports me in good times and bad times. The happy family will have it. My mom and dad always tell me if I want to succeed, I need to have good habits. We practice speaking English together every morning. We have dinner together every night. We talk about our problems. We share our joys. We exercise together. We relax together. The atmosphere in my family is fantastic. Lesson 21. My first trip to America. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, got, I just got back from America yesterday. This was my first visit to America. I had to say a few words about my first trip. Everything was new and fresh. I got up early just to sit in the park. I visited many interesting places and met a lot of interesting people. I felt a little, a little nervous but I still talked to people. They were very friendly and helpful. I had a very first impression of the American people. This trip was the first time I, uh, I had to use English in real life. My English was not perfect but I survived. The more I use English, the easier it became. I'm still working very hard on my English. You know, practice makes perfect. Next time I go to America, I won't feel nervous at all. Lesson 22, I make society better. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about a simple way that we can work together to make society better. We must always remember that every person is important. It does matter if you know a person or if he is a total stranger. Every person is somebody's mother, father, sister, or brother. We must never look away when we see someone suffer. We must never feel another person does matter. We must never say it too much about it. We show up for him personally. If we want to live together or harmony, we must not treat every single person as our own mother, father, sister, or brother. This is the way to truly make our society stronger and better. Lesson 23, uh, Vietnam U.S. relations. Ladies and gentlemen, America is a great country. Vietnam is a great country. Vietnam and America have a long history together. Now is the right time to build an, an even closer and stronger relationship. Vietnam is inviting more and more experts from America to share their knowledge. At the same time, America is welcoming more and more talented, talented Vietnamese to study and work in America. Both countries can get a great deal from each other. America and Vietnam should keep working together to build a peaceful and bright future. Lesson 24 Face Problems and Challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to have this opportunity to talk to you. Solving problems is the top priority for government officials. We are not afraid of problems, we consider problems to challenges. We have lots of confidence in our ability to solve any problem. With your support and understanding, we can do a great job together. Thank you for your cooperation. If you have any problems, stop by our office. As in 25, I want to change my life. I will be extremely hard every day, but I'm very tired. I need to work smarter, not harder. I must find better ways to do my job. I must find more time to enjoy life. I know hard work is a part of everybody's life. Everybody's life. But I work too hard. My work goes too far. My work is ruining my health. My work is killing me. Other people have time for fun. Going to bars, going to parties. All I do is get in my car and go to work every day. This life is too hard. I need to make a fresh start. Let's turn the stick. How to take responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, actually I am going to talk about taking responsibility. It's always hard to miss something in your fault. In fact, people rarely say, it's all my fault. People always make excuses or say it is somebody else's fault. It is hard to solve problems because people like to blame others. The next time you make a mistake, take responsibility. Only the words can make a big difference. Try saying, it's all my fault. Lesson 27, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. Ladies and gentlemen, more and more foreigners are coming to Vietnam. More and more people around the world are starting to learn Vietnamese. More and more Vietnamese are starting to do business and travel around the world. 
the world is becoming smaller and smaller. That's why English is becoming more and more important in Vietnam. If we want to ensure a great future for Vietnam, we must practice English harder than ever before. As in Chen Ed, here a good book is like a good friend. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about books. A good book is like a good friend. You should read as many books as you possibly can. You shouldn't just take a look at a book. You should read it carefully, again and again. There's a famous quote, a man who doesn't read books is far worse off than a man who can't read books. Read books are fast and let books take you around the world. Can a book now be dying into it? Let wisdom contain books dying in your life. That's in 29, is it food or food? Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about two words, food and food. I will never forget how shocked I was the first time I came to Vietnam and the host asked me, do you like Vietnamese food? I was told that Vietnamese people like to eat all kinds of other food, but I never imagined that they ate the other people's food. Of course, I replied, no, I don't like it, but my host insisted that Vietnamese food is so, is so delicious. You must at least try Vietnamese food. I told him that I would be glad to try Vietnamese peace food, but not Vietnamese food. Uh, my host realized his mistake and we both had a great laugh. I was so relieved that the prince was not a culture difference, merely just a bad pronunciation. Please take my advice and practice the correct pronunciation of food and food until you, until you are so. This embarrassing situation would never happen to you. Lesson 30. How to speak fluent English. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you all want to speak good English. Now let me give you some advice. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of practicing your English. Don't be ashamed of being uh, speaking for English. Don't be ashamed of being loved. Don't be ashamed of being stout. The only way to is that you never open your mouth. The only way to learn English is to never be afraid and never be ashamed. It's never too late to make a change in your life. Don't be afraid, no pain, no gain. You can make it your way. Lesson 31 The importance of smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, today I like to talk about the importance of smiling and kindness. Life is like a mirror. When you smile, people will smile back. When you treat other people kindly, they will treat you kindly in return. Try to spend one day smiling and being kind to everyone you meet. You will see a big, you see, you see the big, you will see a big difference in your life. If you keep on smiling, be kind. Smiling and kindness will cut the habits. If everyone tries to do this, what will be a kind, bright and happier place? Start smiling right away. Lesson 32 uh, The importance of choice. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to talk, I want to tell you something very important today. I want to tell you that life is not choice. You can choose to be miserable or you can choose to enjoy life. You can choose to improve your health or you can choose to destroy it. I hope you make correct choice. I hope you will choose to enjoy the family, enjoy the friends, enjoy the work, and enjoy your family life. Life is a gift and we really should enjoy every minute of it. Join the group of people who make you choose enjoy your life. Lesson 33 The Half of Smoking. Ladies and gentlemen, today I don't like to talk about smoking. Smoking not only makes you smell terrible, it is also terrible for your health. If you smoke, everyone in your home is breathing in your secondhand smoke. Smoke makes your teeth yellow and your nose black. Smoking is also like so many ways. Each pop cigarette you smoke is really money going out of smoke. You're burning money with nothing to show for it. If you, if you smoke, I hope you try to give up this destructive habit. You owe it to yourself and your family to live a healthy life. Lesson, 40, uh, lesson 34 How to pronounce English words correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I don't like to talk about how to pronounce English words correctly. First, spell the word aloud, then read the word aloud according to the tip. Carefully imitate the sound. Then shout the word as loudly as possible. Lastly, I will send them to you this word. Think about what the word means in this sentence. If you follow this step, you will see the proof of how well you can pronounce English words. Lesson 35. How to communicate and communicate effectively. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I want to talk about the importance of clear communication. Clear communication means being able to hear what someone is saying. 
you need to listen with your heart, not only your ears. Remember, you have two ears but only one mouth. That means you should listen more and speak less. Listening as well as speaking is absolutely necessary for clear communication. Good communication is not as easy as it is. It just has good and good stuff practice. Thank you for being here and listening to my speech. That's a very sick English prison special post. If you want to speak for English, you must enjoy the device. You must enjoy making useless. You must enjoy speaking broken English. You must enjoy being loved. You must enjoy a lonely hero. Good English speakers are the richest of our country. Lesson 37. Caring is warm and beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about care. The biggest problem facing the world today is a lot of care. People only care about themselves, they don't care about other people. They don't even care about their family. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about their community. Most of all, they don't care about the country. 